My name is Olu Shegu Matajo. A lot of people call me Olu for short. I work, I've been working with Alberta Health Services for about three years now, and I work as a public health inspector. A regular day for a public health inspector may include inspecting restaurants, inspecting daycares, inspecting rental housing units, dealing with animal bites, uh, doing food barn illness investigations, inspecting work camps. So the list goes on and on, but overall our general focus is to protect public health. Up here in Fort McMurray, we, we work by geographical areas. So we tend to cover all the aspects of um, environmental public health. Whereas in bigger cities like Calgary and Edmonton, um, the inspectors are more specialized in uh, certain program areas such as safe food or safe built environments. I find it personally rewarding to be able to help people and help people see um, things that they may not necessarily be aware of that may impact their health in the long run. I'm able to interact with different people on a daily basis in different settings. In the morning, I may be at a restaurant. In the afternoon, I may be at a daycare. So I like the, the variety that comes with my job. It really helps me enjoy it. I would consider environmental public health, which is a part of the uh, broader public health program, to be on the preventive side of healthcare. The effort that we put in and other public health uh, initiatives help reduce the, the workload on the clinical side of AHS. So um, the, the, the more work we do, the lesser the number of people having to get clinical help and probably the lesser um, the effect of the illness when they do go get clinical help. For my position, uh, you need to have a degree in environmental health. Um, if you are pursuing this career in Alberta, you will need a first degree in science and then you will get your after degree. After you obtain your degree, you have to fulfill a practicum requirement. Uh, which is usually about 12 weeks of uh, you working with other inspectors in the field. Sometimes you step back and you try to think about what you do and then you realize that if you're not doing your job, a lot of people will get sick. And sometimes it doesn't have to be like an acute illness which can manifest within a day or two. Sometimes it can be a chronic illness. And you know, when you go out there and you play your part as a public health inspector, it feels good to know that you're helping people down the road to continue to live a good life and be healthy. So I would say for me, it's personally and professionally rewarding.